cardiovascular disease is a major health problem today, far exceeding cancer, AIDS, accidents, neuromuscular diseases. It's the number one killer and crippler. Many people think it's a genetic problem when in fact the latest research suggests that 499 people out of every 500 get disease because of the lifestyle that they lead. So we now recognize that cardiovascular disease is largely a preventable disease. Beaumont Hospital has one of the largest and most comprehensive cardiac rehabilitation programs in the world. We have a multidisciplinary program which involves what we call phase two and phase three cardiac rehabilitation. It involves exercise training, it involves education, counseling, risk factor modification, and it involves keeping you and your physician apprised of your progress. Cardiac rehab is important because it allows a person to adjust their lifestyle following a, a traumatic event like a heart attack or open heart surgery and it teaches them the importance of lifestyle change and the importance of exercise. Our staff is made up of exercise specialists, exercise physiologists and cardiac nurses. Our nurses are all trained cardiac nurses, they're all licensed registered nurses who have specialized in cardiac medicine. Our exercise specialists and physiologists all hold clinical exercise specialist certification um, that is specific to cardiac rehab or cardiac care. I see people every day who say, Doc, I don't have enough uh, stamina to do day-to-day -day activities. We can take people who are unfit, who've had significant damage to their heart, and markedly improve their long-term prognosis. People who have heart attacks or have bypass surgery or who are diagnosed with coronary disease often are very afraid to do things on their own to exercise or to be physically active. And cardiac rehab offers them a way to feel safe and to recover from that kind of an event in a very controlled environment. And cardiac rehab allows them to um, educate themselves about the risk factors that they have that may be led to their heart disease. It also allows them to learn uh, the guidelines and the parameters that they should use when they return to their normal activities and exercise. If you've had a heart attack, if you've had bypass surgery, if you've had angioplasty, uh, if you have anginal symptoms, chest pain on exertion, or combinations of those, you're an ideal candidate for cardiac rehabilitation. Well, actually, I didn't really have much of a choice at the very beginning. Um, my cardiologist suggested that I start off with phase two, but it would be good for me to talk to other people who had the same thing happen because it was really quite shocking, actually, to have a heart attack. Well, first of all, you've got to have your physician's approval that you're clinically stable and you're a good candidate for cardiac rehabilitation, so you've got to be physician referred. But once you're referred, then we contact you and set up an orientation visit. In that orientation visit, we really explain the hows and whys of cardiac rehabilitation, the benefits. We look very closely at their medical history as well as their current health status. And since everybody is different following a, a cardiac event of any kind, the program really needs to be adjusted to fit each individual. So the ideal situation certainly is what we call a graded exercise stress test where you're on a treadmill to get some idea of how well your heart rates and blood pressures respond, whether the electrocardiogram shows any signs of strain or irritability. And from those data, we can then formulate the safest and most effective exercise prescription. Phase two typically is 18 to 24 sessions, and we try to do them consecutively three times a week. And those phase two sessions are telemetry monitored. There, you'll be hooked up to an EKG monitor, much like if you were in a hospital setting, and watching heart rates and blood pressures and, and accelerating workloads and things like that. Um, we do a lot of individual monitoring in that phase of cardiac rehab. And they were always there to provide the proper information you needed by monitoring your, 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 your system, monitoring your blood, monitoring your diet, monitoring your weight, monitoring everything from the tip of your head to the bottom of your toes. When you're working in cardiac rehab, you're getting a lot of encouragement, you're getting a lot of support, and you're working with people who have very similar issues as you do. We keep their doctors posted in terms of what we're seeing. For example, if we see a new heart rhythm regularity or excessive blood pressure response, we'll contact their doctor. So we believe that that ongoing medical surveillance provides the kind of medical management that improves long-term prognosis. 
We have educational handouts that they get. We have a newsletter that comes out four times a year written by Beaumont physicians and medical staff. Typically at the end of phase two cardiac rehab, we do make some advancements. Um, many patients get to the point where they feel like maybe doing things within their home was very difficult to begin with when they first started the program. By the time they finish up, they feel like they've increased their endurance and, and have some energy back by the end of phase two. I feel great. I feel really good. I, you know, I feel energized and, uh, you know, I come here, try to come here early in the morning so that the rest of the day I'm, you know, ready to go and face the world. So that when you're out doing what it is that you enjoy doing, whether it's yard work or golf or whatever, you're going to be able to do those things more successfully. Not only do we see a lot of immediate improvement, but we also see people who are more relaxed, people who are more interested in their health, and, and people who are overall more healthy. I'm feeling perfect today. I feel very healthy. I've had a great workout. I've had fun and I'm stronger and I'm much more well balanced and um, I just feel far more fit than I did before. I felt healthy. We do. I enjoy the people that, that, that are here. And I think for many of the folks, it's sort of a, uh, a social event. But I feel a lot better when I'm, when I'm done. And I go back home and I just have a little more bounce in my step, I think. I can't say enough about the family that we have, the camaraderie that we have with the guys and gals that are in, we call ourselves a zipper gang. But the other part of that is to come in for your well-being, to take care of yourself. When your six or eight weeks of cardiac rehab in phase two is finished, uh, we'll encourage you to join our phase three program, which is our maintenance program, and that's on a month by month basis, um, where you'll graduate into that program and again, be on a little bit less direct um, observation, but still be working with the same staff, the same patients, the same group, the same equipment that you've now gotten used to during phase two, and we give you the guidelines that you need in order to exercise safely um, once phase two is complete. Many of our patients carry over from phase two to phase three. I think as a society, none of us are great about committing to exercising and healthy habits without a strong social support network. And I think that's why phase three cardiac rehab has worked for so long for so many people. They have a place to go. They have people who are expecting them to be there. And I think that's what keeps people coming to phase three. We use the gym. Uh, for our phase three program for a general warm-up stretching and flexibility exercises. We also do a variety of recreational activities and one of the most popular here at Beaumont is one bounce volleyball. We found that by allowing one bounce we can take people who are out of shape and we can make superstars out of many of our program participants. Uh, the pool program is run by our staff early morning hours. We have many cardiac patients who enjoy the pool program uh, especially those with orthopedic or musculoskeletal problems that may be aggravated by exercise on land. So you've got the buoyancy of the water and the resistance of the water in a fun environment, which is a wonderful complement uh, to uh, the conventional exercise that we do. Weight training does some things that aerobics or walking or jogging doesn't do because as patients' muscles increase in strength, when they go to lift any given load, the heart rate and blood pressure to that load with stronger muscles is now lower. So there are cardiovascular benefits to using weight training in a cardiac rehab program. I think the reason that people originally joined phase three is to stay on track. They know if they make appointments, they know if it's on their calendar that they should be in cardiac rehab, then they will be there. And they know that's a, a way to maintain those lifestyle behavior changes. It's a, a group effect. It's just a lot of fun to be together those few, those couple hours on the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, and it's a feeling of accomplishment when you get done. People have been in the program for longer. Now it's become a way of life for them. And without being in the program, they feel like they've, they're missing something out of their daily routine if they don't come to cardiac rehab. I enjoy working with all the people. I just absolutely have a great time here. If I don't come, I can feel that too. Patients should really approach their doctor and ask about cardiac rehab following their hospital discharge. Um, it would be a great way to, to interact with their physician and get more information on what they can do to improve their lifestyle following their cardiac event. 
If our patients make the commitment to attend when they're assigned to attend, they really can modify risk factors, they really can improve their health, they really can improve how much better they feel and we've made people well. Again, we've made them feel well, we made, we've made them feel confident. Really the work is theirs and the behavior changes are theirs. We're just there to facilitate it. We've had individuals who come in and they can't walk five minutes on a treadmill. Going up a flight of stairs um, makes them short of breath. A year later they're walking two miles a day on the treadmill and they feel great about it. Give us a little time. Give us time to teach you a few things. Give us time to, to have you adjust and, and learn what cardiac rehab can do for you. The gains are immeasurable.